morning everyone, Sergi Bavik here and thank you for watching our YouTube channel Hooked for a Nice Meal. I'm getting ready for salmon fishing. Yeah, that's right, salmon season is here. Cohos are in and we're gonna go out on area A2, area nine, area 10. My son-in-law came from New York. My brother-in-law came from Hawaii and we're gonna go out tomorrow morning and we're gonna try to catch some salmon. So see you guys in the water. So now I'm gonna give you a little walk through what kind of a gear I use for salmon, king salmon, coho, silver salmon. I'm gonna start with downrigger. This is 1106 downrigger. I used to have 2106 with the digital uh, gauge. It's exactly the same downrigger, only 2106 a little bit faster. To me, speed doesn't matter because usually when I catch a salmon, then I click it on auto retrieve. By the time I pull the fish, the cable gonna be retrieved. Before I start fishing, I usually extend my boom all the way. Get a little extra, extra slack or cable. Gives me enough to work with. And it sits on Scotty's pedestals and it pivots and lock, locks in place. After getting my downrigger set up, now I'm gonna assemble the rest of the gear. 15 pound ball I'm gonna attach to my cable on my downrigger and I'm gonna lower it to proper depth. Then, rudder flasher. Fifteen pound ball, then rudder flasher. And on this end I gonna attach sixty inches leader with the clip. This is gonna be for my fish and pull line. inches liter works really good for my boat if you got smaller boat you probably don't need 60 inches you can go to 30 inches maybe 18 inches but for me it's more convenient with 60 so I don't have to reach out all the way to grab it 60 inches I can use any kind of a hook and, and pick it up with the hook and it's right there 
All right, so I'm gonna lower my my bowl with the flusher in the water and get my clip. There is two two settings on the clip. Depends on your fishing uh, line. If you got 20 pounds fish line, I adjust all the way back, and it's a little bit firmer grip. If it's 30 pound fish line, you just uh, push forward and it's a little bit uh, softer grip so firmer firmer grip for my line and I usually hook up into this handle then I go grab my fishing pole so this is my fishing pole setup I got TRD Shimano 9 feet trolling rod the fishing reel is pen squirrel 20 it's a left side handle to me i like left hand because i got more power in my right hand i reel with my left and battle the fish with my right hand uh, and the fish line is 20 pounds 20 pound test line flasher 42 inch leader and this is my hoochie uh double hoochie one yellow and reddish this is uh, the second one is uh, purplish and uh, kind of goldish color. Uh, I got two hooks, uh, size two, and I put a piece of herring on the end, just a little strip, about two inch, and I'll be showing you that too. I start trolling with the hoochies first, and if I don't have any luck, I switch it to different color. If if that doesn't work, I switch to Kingfisher jigs, uh, spoons like that. And this is my three go-to colors. I really like it, uh, especially when I'm fishing for king salmon. They work really good for king salmon. Also put a little bit of a strip of herring on the end. And uh, hey, I have a lot of luck with this setup. This is the setup I use when I start fishing. Uh, I would lower my line about 50 feet deep and look at my uh, fish finder. If I see any fishes uh, below that, I would lower down a little bit. I would set my first uh, downrigger with the fishing pool about 55 feet and the second one is about 65 feet. That's the early in the morning. But an hour later, I would lower 10 feet. Every hour, 10 feet deeper. Uh, for coho, I don't lower it uh, deeper than 90 feet. Usually 90 feet, that's my deepest uh, depth. And for king uh, salmon, king salmon usually uh, way deeper than that, anywhere from 100 to 150 feet. I would start uh, following the current. Usually salmon go opposite side of the current. If that doesn't work for coho, I'll start doing cross channel. That also works. I sold my hearing because when it's salted, it's firmer, it stay on the hook really good. Uh, about 15 hours in kosher salt, uh, room temperature, then I'll cut off the head on angle and kind of fillet it. Fillet it and uh, make a nice fillet. I don't know if it's nice or not, but it's a fillet. Let's try this again. There we go. Yeah, I would I would uh, split the fillet in two pieces like that and cut this an angle. So a little strip like that, that's plenty big enough. This is gonna send out the sand and uh, I had really good luck catching it. Yeah, just hook it on the end like that. And this, this is how it looks like. This is my set of flusher, 42 inch leader, double hoochie, double hook with stripe of herring. And we are ready to lower this line. Release my line and let it out about 25 feet.
time with a down ringer to proper depth. But this is my uh, setup. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. on oh baby Yeah, look at this beautiful fish. It's a hedge salmon, so we're gonna keep this one. Oh, don't go in the water. Give me five, it's, you're awesome, man. Good job. Over the rail, into the pail. Fish on! Oh, it's not a fish, it's a whale. Nice hatched fish.
wild. No. Wild one, area nine, we're gonna have to let it go. Yep, hatched. Well, let's let's close them up. Area 10. Hey guys, it was an awesome day today. It's coming to an end. It's sad, but hey, we got to go back home and prepare the fish and make a really nice meal. We caught eight fishes, uh, five of them were hatched and three wild ones. It was a beautiful day. All of us had a lot of fun. It was a blast. I can, that's all I can say. I'm speechless. So see you guys home at the kitchen. And today we had really good time early in the morning with the family on the water so beautiful sunrise we caught a lot of fish we had a lot of good time and that's what it's all about so now I'm gonna fillet this beautiful fish and today I'm gonna do a little bit differently because this fish there is a chance that it has the eggs and if it does I want to got it first then fillet it so let's go Can I cut the head first? There we go, head is out. Now, we're gonna gut the fish. All right. And this is a male, no eggs. okay we got some more the ones with the eggs so pretty much I cleaned out everything so now we're gonna remove all of this blood it's not really good for you I don't know whoever likes to eat it maybe there is a way to eat this thing but I just like to clean this blood out make sure nothing is on inside So I'm gonna use this big butcher knife to fillet it. It's pretty good size of a fish. So what I'm gonna do, you can see the carcass is right there. Line the knife with the carcass and just gl glide along the carcass. And that's what you got. This is the fillet. Look, nice clean cut. Flip it around, same thing. Press it down to carcass and just glide it down. Glide it all the way to the end. Make a cut right there. And you got another beautiful fillet. So 
now we're gonna remove all of these bones the rib cage the fans what am i gonna do right here just cut the neck out so neck is out and flip around get my other fillet knife i'm gonna remove this fan right here and i'm gonna remove this rib cage all right just glide it like that there we go there's one more rib one left and that's it no more bones except the pin bones we can use the tweezers to pull them out okay and we got a fin right here that we're gonna remove it too so just remove all of that the, the not needed stuff trim that this is the fat it's probably not very healthy fat and this is your fillet look at this beautiful fillet just a pin bones we're gonna use the tweezers to pull them out and we're gonna prepare a beautiful tasty meal that's gonna go too look at this beautiful fillet all right so we're gonna go and do same thing to this one right here we're gonna flip it around we're gonna cut the neck off we're gonna use that for something else maybe a really good fish soup or something so same thing on this side we're gonna remove the rib cage rib cage line up with the ribs and just hold it down with the fingers and lift it up and there you go on this end fillet with the belly on I leave this fin on because it's so tasty and good right there if you don't eat it you can just trim this off but I'm gonna leave it on because I got a special meal that I'll, I'll be making and I'm gonna remove just a little touch of the dorsal fin there yep Good afternoon everyone, welcome to our kitchen. Today we're gonna be making special recipe. Guys, fishermen, prepare this recipe to your wives or ladies and you're gonna put the smile on their faces. So let's go. Before trimming up my filet, I wanna talk about this rubber cleaning mat. I've been using it on my uh, cleaning fish station, on my boat and on my kitchen. You can use this rubber mat pretty much everywhere it's easy it's convenient and it's not moving around when you're filleting your fish so you're not gonna cut yourself so uh, if you guys interested I'll leave a link below so now I'm gonna trim off the belly and we got some pin bones we're gonna take out a little bit later after we're gonna remove the skin so let's remove the belly first I'll make a cut right here, put my knife on angle and start gliding. <clears throat> I 
and this is what you got we still have a little bit of a skin left here but that's no problem we're gonna switch the sides and switch the side and trim off from here to make nice takes same thing knife and angle and <clears throat> the rest of the skin is gone so look at this side that's how it's supposed to look like when you run your finger you can feel the pin bones they run about all the way to the middle of the fillet so now we're gonna start removing them after removing all of the pin bones now I'm gonna cut them into steak portions make sure just it is equal size I'll place my steaks into this glass platter and gonna start season them Let's see. are ready to mix our spices so we're gonna start with black pepper onion powder and garlic salt Old Bay seasoning dry parsley and Everglades fish and chicken and now I'm gonna mix it really good alright that's good right there for a binder we're gonna be using avocado oil just gonna drizzle a little bit on each steak And I'm gonna just rub them really good so it's all get covered with oil. We have salt in our spices, but I'm still gonna add a little bit of a sea salt. Just add some salt to your likings if you need to. Just a little bit. I'm gonna pat this down a little bit so spices are st sticking to our steaks. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side.
I'll be using iron skillet to pan fry our salmon. I'm gonna start with butter, two tablespoons of butter, and we're gonna melt this and add some avocado oil. I'm gonna add some avocado oil so it's gonna prevent butter from burning. I'm gonna add the heat to medium high and we're gonna cook our salmon anywhere from five to 10 minutes. All right, we are ready to flip our fish to the other side. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that crispy. Yeah, looks gorgeous. So fish is ready to be removed, it's all done. And we're gonna start making a nice sauce. I'm gonna add uh, some maple syrup on the stove and Old Bay seasoning. And I'm gonna start mixing this mixture together and it's gonna be a beautiful saucy glaze. All right, so this is our mixture, a beautiful sauce. Now I'm gonna put it back on the stove and let it car caramelize. Yeah, look at this beautiful glaze. It's ready. We're gonna put our fish back in. Yeah, I'm gonna put that glaze over the salmon steaks. And now I'm gonna add some lamb and we have to have lamb and otherwise it's not gonna be the same. It's with the lemon, it's totally different taste. So squeeze some of the lemon and add some more of this glaze over the salmon. Oh man, it smells so good. Yeah, this is a restaurant quality. ready and it's ready to be served. I'm gonna be serving with rice and Caesar salad. So I'm gonna add some more of this glaze on the fish. Look at this plate. What a beautiful meal. Now I'm gonna try it. Looks so moist. It 
it's so good it's unbelievable guys gentlemen fishermen surprise your ladies with the meal like that this is what it's all about when you go out with the family with the kids on the water enjoy the day fishing and the next day you end up with this life is good so guys our video coming to an end please thumbs up subscribe and leave the comments below see you guys next time